We are so thrilled to be able to celebrate and express our gratitude for this day. It's, it's Canadian Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, it's Canadian Thanksgiving. And we wanted to show you the bounty that has come to us from volunteering at the organic farm and having friends who have organic orchards and gardens. So to start with, our orchardist friend has pears, three varieties, beautiful apples. Those come right from her farm. We're so thrilled to have them and they are delicious. And then these tomatoes come from an organic farm close to us. Beautiful onion and garlic from the farm that we volunteer at and yeah, and so the grapes came off the farm, and the tomatoes, Connie mentioned, so it frosted today. So yesterday we went out, you know, we saw it coming, so the farmer said, if you want tomatoes, come today. So yesterday we went out, picked a lot of cherry tomatoes that were still on the vine, picked these green tomatoes that will ripen up over time. So that's why we have so many tomatoes right now, because the frost last night wiped them all out. <laughs> Everything that was in the field. They have some in the greenhouse still. Tell them about the meal that we're Yeah, and so sharing the, yeah, meal. so what we wanted to share excuse me. What we wanted to share with you was um, how we do like a whole food plant based Thanksgiving meal. Sans turkey. <laughs> so, without turkey. Yeah. <laughs> without any animal. Yeah. And so the main uh, meal for us is something like a squash, a squash, a stuffed squash. So we have a lovely stuffed squash dish on the cookbook, in the cookbook, and we'll include that in the blog um, recipe this week. And then we'll of course have a side of greens with some veggies in it. Um, we do a raw cranberry sauce that people are just amazed with. Yeah, it's so good. They just, they just love it. And then we also have a couple of different um, kinds of desserts. Um, oh, oh we should talk about the potatoes. Yeah, the potatoes. They are important. About the potatoes. So the potatoes are just mashed potatoes, but they're creamed with almond milk. And then we make, which is on our website, our mushroom gravy to go on top of it. Yeah, yeah, it's delicious, delicious. And for dessert, we've got a couple of options. I do um, a yam and squash pie with like pumpkin pie spices. So that comes out a lot like a pumpkin pie, but we use a whole food plant-based crust instead of using flour. And I'm a big fan of that. I've always loved pumpkin pie. So that's why I had to fine tune things to be able to do it with squash and yams. And then also just recently, we published the pear uh, cake. And this is the season. The reason we actually came up with the pear cake was because our first harvest of pears that we got from our friend at uh, Claremont Ranch Farms here, um, they all ripened so quickly. And I just had all these pears and I thought, what can we do? So we made this wonderful pear cake. So that would be the one thing that's not completely whole food because we make the oat flour with rolled oats. But, but it is delicious. Yeah. You will like it. Yes. And if you want to be whole food, then make sure to make the squash pie. Squash and yeah. Yeah, yeah that would be all the whole foods. Yeah, so that's how we do Canadian Thanksgiving. And so we're wishing you all the best, all of our Canadian friends. And those of you in the U.S., you have one coming up next month. We harvest everything earlier here because our season ends earlier here. <laughs> Yeah, and you have the opportunity when you're not in Canada to try out these recipes and see what you want to include for your U.S. Thanksgiving. Yeah, so enjoy. Enjoy. Thanks, everybody.